How are you doing? Um, Frank Falvey here, and I'm going to do an overview of Azure Monitor. So first up, we've got Azure Platform Service. Um, this starts when you um, log on to the Azure portal. This includes Active Directory auto logs and activity log records. When resources are created or modified, Matrix tell us how the resources is performing and the resources that are being consumed. Next one is infrastructure. So Azure Monitor correlates infrastructure issues with the Azure Monitor for VMs and Azure Monitor for containers. Applications. Azure Monitor detects and diagnoses issues across applications and dependencies with application insights. Custom sources. Azure Monitor can collect log data from any REST clients using the Data Collector API. This allows you to create custom monitoring scenarios and extend monitoring to resources that don't expose telemetry to other sources. Next up, we have matrix and logs. All the data collected by the Azure Monitor fits into one or two fundamental types, matrix and logs. Matrix are a numerical value that describes some aspect of the system at a particular point in time. They are lightweight and capable of supporting near real-time scenarios. As for logs, logs contain different kinds of data organized into records with different sets of properties for each type. Telemetry such as events and traces are stored in logs in addition to performance data so that they can be combined for analysts. And the next section up here is Analyze, which our Matrix Explorer and our Log Analytics. So the Matrix Explorer, you can click on any of the, of the graphs to open the data in the Matrix Explorer in the Azure portal, which allows you to chart the values of multiple matrix over times. As for log analytics, log analytics is a primary tool in the Azure portal for editing log queries and interactively analyzing their results. Even if you intend to use a log query elsewhere in Azure Monitor, you'll typically write and test it in log analytics before copying it to its final location. On next then, we have Visualize with dashboards and workbooks. Azure Dashboard allows you to combine different kinds of data, including both matrix and logs into a single pane in the Azure portal. You can optionally share the dashboard with other Azure users. Elements throughout the Azure Monitor can be added to the Azure dashboard in addition to the output of any log queries or matrix charts. Um, for workbooks, workbooks provide a flexible canvas for data analysts and the creation of rich visual reports within the Azure portal. They allow you to tap into multiple data sources from across Azure and combine them into unified interactive experiences. And next up, we have the response, alerts, action rules, groups, and auto scale. In addition to allowing you to interactively analyze monitoring data, uh, an effective monitoring solution must be able to be proactively response to critical conditions identified in the data that it clicks. This could be sending a text or an email to an administrator responsible for 
investigating any issues that occur. Or you could launch an automated process that attempts to correct the error condition. Alerts in the mon Azure Monitor proactively notifies of critical conditions and potentially attempts to correct, take corrective act, act, action. Alert rules based on matrix provide near real time um, alerting based on numeric values. While rules based on logs allow for complex logic across data from multiple sources, you can have alert rules in the Azure Monitor user groups which contain unique sets of recipients and actions that can be shared across multiple rules based on your requirements um, action groups they can perform such actions as using web hooks to have alerts started externally external actions are integrate with your it service management tools like I suppose Jira or service now. Uh, so we move on to the next section, insights. Insights into applications, containers, VMs, networks, additional solutions, and storage. And um, monitoring data is only useful if you can increase the visibility into your operations of your compute environment. Azure Monitor includes several features in the tools that provides valuable insights into your applications and other resources. Those resources that you, you know, you depend on. So monitoring a solution and features such as application insights, Azure Monitor for containers provide deep insights into different aspects of your application and specific services. Application insights monitors the availability and the performance um, and usage of we'd say web application, whether they are hosted on the cloud or on premises. It leverages the powerful data analytics platform of Azure Monitor to provide to provide you with a deep insight into your application operations to diagnose errors without waiting on a user to respond on them, you know, like they're automated. Um, application insights include connection points and a variety of different development tools and integrated into, we'd say, Visual Studio to support your dev DevOps um, processes. Um, for your VMs then, Azure Monitor for VMs, monitor your Azure Virtual Machines at scale by analyzing the performance of the health of your Windows or Linux VMs, including the different processes and interconnected dependencies on other resources and external process. The solution includes support for monitoring performances and application dependencies for VMs hosted on premises or another cloud provider. So we just move on to the next section there now, which is integration. You often have them, the requirements to integrate Azure Monitor into other systems and build custom solutions that use your monitoring data other Azure services work with Azure Monitor to provide integration. As you can see down there, like on the right hand side, event hubs, logic apps, APIs, Power BI, and information management tools. So um, that kind of wraps up the overview there on the Azure Monitor. So thanks again for watching.